In this tutorial, I wanna show you how you can relink custom folders that you've added to Live's browser without having to re-add them to the browser. Now, one of my favorite time-saving tips is to add custom folders to Live's browser. You can go to add folder, click to add them there. This works really well until one day, potentially like what I'm having here, you go to click into a file folder and you see that uh, all your content is gone. Now this happens either because you move that folder to somewhere else in your desktop and Ableton can't find it, or somewhere else in your computer and Ableton can't find it, or it's possible that this is on an external hard drive. If it's on an external hard drive, plug it back in, you'll see it. Live obviously can't grab those files if it's on an external hard drive, but if you're seeing what I'm seeing here to where uh, you can see this is uh, black, which means I can find it. This is gray, which means it can't be found on my computer. Let's talk about how to fix it without re-adding it to our, our browser. So what I'm going to do is right click on this folder here, LC file types. Uh, I'm going to go to locate folder. Now what happened here is uh, because my desktop got too busy, too many files like it often does, I added a folder called desktop. So I'm gonna click into that and then here's that LC file types folder. I'm gonna click open and you can see that automatically gets added back to my browser. So uh, this is one of my favorite tips for saving time, adding custom folders to Live's browser. If they're missing, try this to relink them. And now if you're missing samples, if you get a message at the bottom of your live set that says, hey, uh, missing media files are offline, samples are missing, then click this video to watch how to solve that and to figure out how to get your samples back without losing your mind.